Many people ask me, why am I so obsessed about sound levels? And before I go into that, here's a little demonstration. My name's Danny and I'm from House Fresh. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about sound. If you jump on a random air purifier listing on Amazon, you'll see a really low sound level mention, something like 20 or 25 decibels. But the problem is, is this sound level is for the lowest mode or sleep mode or speed one. The problem is, is this low mode is absolutely useless when cleaning your room, especially with a small air purifier. For example, we tested the IntelliPure Compact running at Turbo, and it was able to clean our 728 cubic feet test room in 46 minutes of all PM1 pollutants from an incense stick. This is a relatively good result, but using this device on turbo mode, it makes nearly 70 decibels of noise, which is the same as a vacuum cleaner. And nobody wants a vacuum cleaner running constantly in the background. However, after we tested the IntelliPure Compact running on medium speed, which made 47 decibels of sound, it took nearly three hours and 18 minutes to clean our test room. Quiet, yes, but virtually useless. Now, if you wanna know more about how we test air purifiers, then check out the video here. My recommendations today are broken into four categories. Best overall, best for those outside of North America, best smart, and best small. Before I jump into the list, I just wanna say that testing air cleaning performance, energy levels, sound levels at different fan speeds is super time consuming. So if you wanna support the channel and you do want one of the devices that we recommend, please buy with the links in the description. There are affiliate links so we get a small commission, but we'll be able to use that money to buy more devices in future and produce more tests. Right, let's jump into the full list. First up, we have the best quiet air purifier overall, and it's the Luggable XL from Clean Air Kits. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you won't be surprised by this because the Luggable XL managed to clean our test room of all PM1 in just 20 minutes, but it was able to do this at a sound of only 38.8 decibels. In fact, the first few weeks we had this device, I didn't even know it was running. So I would come over and just put my hand to see that it was running and it was running, it was so quiet. But please have a listen for yourself. The minimal level of noise of this device can be explained by the fact that it's a new generation of air purifiers that uses PC fans. Now the Luggable XL doesn't come with any fan speeds, but the fact that this device can give you 323 CFM at sub 40 decibels, I see no reason why you'd want to reduce this speed any further. In fact, we can compare this device with other devices we've tested running at sub 45 decibels. And the only other device that comes close is another PC fan powered device, the Air Fanta 3 Pro. For pure ratio of sound to performance, the seven Sickle Flow 120 fans from Cooler Master in the Luggable XL is just incredible is a great example of how PC fan powered air purifiers can be the perfect air cleaner. One that can clean a lot of air without making excessive noise. Now, if you're based in Canada, you'll want to check out Northbox Systems. They make very similar devices that are much cheaper to buy for those living in Canada. There are some other benefits to these PC fan powered HVAC filters. The first one is the energy consumption is usually a lot lower than in HEPA retail devices, thanks to the fact that it uses PC fans, which use much less energy. Also, the filter replacement costs are much less, thanks to the fact that it uses standard HVAC filters, which are a commodity compared to getting the OEM filter replacements from one single company but they do come with some downsides. The first one is they're often more delicately built and the filters are on show, so they can be less durable than a HEPA retail device. They also often cost a lot more initially. However, you do have the opportunity to fix them with off the shelf parts and the costs of running them do go down each year you own them. And finally, HVAC filters are really common in North America, but outside of that region, they can be a lot more expensive or even impossible to find. 
For those looking for the best quiet air purifier that money can buy, our top choice is the Luggable XL. And if you're more interested in this device, then check out our review for this unit right now. Next, we have the best quiet air purifier for those living outside of North America, and it's the Air Fanta 3 Pro. For those of us not living in Canada and North America, the systems from Clean Air Kits, New Kit and Northbox systems are just not an option. And the big reason why is HVAC systems are not very common in Europe and Asia. Especially in Europe, boilers and radiators are more prevalent. So even when you can find HVAC filters to buy, they can often be as much as three times the cost. Thankfully, we can get the quiet and effective air performance from PC fan kits in the shape of the Air Fanta 3 Pro. Created by Adam Wong, the 3 Pro uses four PC fan array on top of four custom H11 filters. When running the Air Fanta 3 Pro at its top speed, it's not much quieter than many Pepper retail devices. But when we use the voltage controller, we can lower that fan speed. In the Air Fanta 3 Pro to 4.84 volts was even quieter than the Luggable XL, hitting only 38.1 decibels, yet we're still able to clean our test room in 31 minutes. If you're happy with more sound, 6.54 volts gets us 43.3 decibels, which is still under 45 decibels, yet we're still able to clean our test room in 28 minutes. 43.3 decibels is very quiet, but please have a listen for yourself. With the power controller of the Air Fanta 3 Pro, you can adjust the fan speed to match the sound that you want. And even on the lowest voltage, it will still give you good air cleaning performance. Some other things I really like about the Air Fanta 3 Pro. The first one is its cost. It only costs $149, which is great value. It was also much easier to put together than your standard PC fan kit, like the clean air kits or the North Box systems. And finally, you can put all the parts down and it can fit inside a medium backpack or carry on luggage so you can arrive on location and have a high 400 CFM KDAR device wherever you travel. Some downsides to be aware of. Now, similar to HEPA retail, you do have to rely on the manufacturer to keep making the filters for this device, unlike what we see with the HVAC filters with the other PC fan kits. Now, the fact that it's a cube shape means it might be trickier to find a home for this in the house, say, compared to something like the Luggable XL with its horizontal footprint. But for those outside of Canada and the US, the Air Fanta 3 Pro gives you a great opportunity to get a really quiet air purifier that uses PC fanned technology. If you want to know more about the Air Fanta 3 Pro, then check out my review for it here. Next up, we have the best quiet option for those who want a traditional air purifier design with smart features. And our top choice for this is the Lavoie Everest Air. It's not cheap at just under $500, but for this, you get a really nice looking device with a decent KDAR of 365 CFM. In fact, when we tested this device running at speed two, it only made 43.2 decibels, yet we're still able to clean our test room of all PM1 in 29 minutes. For those looking for even quieter operation, you can run the Lavoie Everest Air at speed one, which makes 39.1 decibels. And we're still able to clean our test room of all PM1 in 42 minutes, which is only a little slower than what we saw with the large Austin Air Healthmate. When compared to other air purifiers running at sub 45 decibels, it's clear that the PC fan powered devices do offer a better ratio of air cleaning performance to sound. However, when benchmarking against other HEPA retail devices, running the Lavoie Everest Air at speed one or speed two is a great choice for those people looking for a quiet air purifier. Some other things I really like about the Lavoie Everest Air. Firstly, it has a ton of smart features from the auto mode to app support via the V-Sync app. It's also a lot more durable than the PC fan kits and is unlikely to be damaged as it has a cover on it and even has wheels to move into different locations. Finally, it has a removable pre-filter, which just makes it easier to keep on top of that to keep it running at the highest level of performance. Some downsides to be aware of with the Lavoie Everest Air. The first one, the big one, it's price. Yes, it's close to nearly $500, which is a lot more than other devices we've looked at. However, the price does drop during the Amazon Prime Day or Black Friday deals, so be sure to use a price tracker to see when to buy it. 
The filters are bonded, which means that the particle filter and the carbon are connected together, which does mean that if the carbon runs out, you're going to have to throw the entire filter away. I much prefer non-bonded filters because then you can replace just the carbon or just the particle filter. Finally, there was the whole issue with Lavoy and Dyson and the complaints of the Better Business Bureau about their use of the term HEPA. And it's clear now that Lavoy used the term HEPA when they maybe shouldn't have, which is not a great look for Lavoy, but it shouldn't put you off this device as, as we've shown in other videos, lower grade HEPA can actually make a more effective air purifier. But for those who want a traditional HEPA retail device and smart functionality, the Lavoy Everest Air running at its lower fan speeds is the really good quiet air purifier. If you want to know more about this device, then check out my review for the Lavoy Everest Air. Last one on our list is the quiet small air purifiers. And for this, we've chosen the Clean Air Kits Triple Acceleron. Whilst I would love for everyone to get massive air purifiers and just run them at their lowest fan speeds, I know there are situations when you just can't have a large device. And for this, you may want to consider the Triple Acceleron. Unlike other PC fan kits, this device is pretty basically pre-built when it arrives. And it doesn't use HVAC filters, but uses cylindrical filters, but still uses PC fans. At its highest fan speed, the Triple Acceleron hit 40.5 decibels, yet still achieved PM10 in 46 minutes, which compares really favorably with other smaller air purifiers, but they are running at their top speed. Some other things I really like about the Triple Acceleron. Straight out the box, it can work with a battery pack, so you don't need to use it when near a outlet. Two, it is a lot more durable than the standard PC fan kits that use HVAC filters. The cylindrical filters are a lot more durable, can take some knocks without an issue. And the third one, it's my personal opinion, but I think it looks really cool. It has a steampunk vibe, but you may think differently. Now, unless you need a small device that can use on the go or using it as a centerpiece to reduce viral load, the price of the Triple Acceleron will likely put off a lot of people. And for most people, if you just want a quiet air purifier, I'd recommend with going with one of the larger devices on our list. But for those who do need those features, then the Triple Acceleron is a great small quiet air purifier. What about even smaller air purifiers? Whilst quiet operation is available in a small package with the Triple Acceleron, as I've just said, it doesn't come cheap. Now, when you go on Google and search for quiet air purifiers, you usually see lists of tiny air purifiers, and they often quote them running at their lowest fan speed. The problem is, is that these small air purifiers, even when they're running at their top and loud speed, are often very ineffective for even the smallest of spaces and are even worse when running at their lowest fan speed. As an example, look at the popular Lavoie Core Mini. At its top fan speed, it had fairly quiet operation, hitting 44.5 decibels. Yet even when running at its highest fan speed, it took one hour and 53 minutes to achieve PM10. The reality is if you want quiet operation and want a traditional HEPA retail device, you will need to get a large device and run it at its lower fan speed. A good example is the Smart Air Blast Mini. When running at its lowest fan speed, it still managed to clean our test room in 16 minutes, making 44.9 decibels. Now we didn't include it in our list today as it's quite expensive at $649 and is likely overkill for most home users. So if you're looking to learn more about air purifiers for large spaces, then check out our list here. Most of the air purifier guides you find on the internet are just a repetition of manufacturers' claims and data. Our motto at House Fresh is that we test to find out what manufacturers won't tell you. In order to do this, we buy all the devices with our own money and test them thoroughly to see how well they perform and how much sound they generate. Sadly, this work isn't cheap. So if you want to support the channel, then please use the links in the description if you identify a device that you want to use in your home. These funds will help us to buy more air purifiers and perform more tests in future to identify great air purifiers that have quiet operation and great air cleaning performance. As always, let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the devices we've listed today, and I'll see you all in the next video.
and nobody wants a vacuum cleaner constantly running in the background. Okay, good, we got it. But you left me here. Oh, sorry, you meant to, right, again.